Hi everyone, it's Donnie Lowy at CloseOutExplosion.com. I hope you're having an amazing day today. So today I'd like to discuss the following question. Can you make money with a brick and mortar store? Now, retail is definitely undergoing a lot of changes. The retail industry has a lot of challenges, but a lot of opportunities as well. Now, the big question is, can someone make money with a brick and mortar store? Now, although there's no definite answer, either yes or no, because there's many factors, but I would like to first explain what the challenge is with a brick and mortar store, and then we could discuss if there's still an opportunity to make money. So the challenge is that there's an expectancy of people to have immediate gratification, meaning they want to be able to buy a product and receive it right away. Now, the online retail industry has created that expectation. So whenever someone is looking for a product, they are first going to go online with the expectation that they can buy that product online and receive it right away. And additionally, there's a comfort level, right? When someone shops online, they could shop from home, from their office, they could take out their cell phone, wherever they are, and buy a product that they want. In addition, online sellers can offer a very large variety, a tremendous amount of options because they don't have to stock all the inventory. They can list items for sale and then they can procure the items when they receive an order. And online retailers such as Amazon, they'll even have third-party sellers selling on their site. And eBay essentially is all third-party sellers, right? eBay doesn't sell products themselves. There are other people who go on eBay, set up stores, or sell their personal items that they no longer need or items that they just never used at all. So now, the big question is, if online sales offer such a variety of choices it can offer really low prices because they don't have to online retailers don't have to spend a lot of money on opening up stores and staffing those stores now they do have employees in their warehouses and they do have warehouses but those costs can be less than actually having a chain of retail stores so the question is can someone still make money having a retail store when we know that the online retail world or has so much you know benefits that could help people such as the convenience factor and low prices, choice selection, and so on. So I personally believe that a retailer can still make money. And here's the reason why. People, if, if they need instant gratification, then they really need instant gratification. If someone orders something from Amazon, it still takes at least two or three days to receive the item. I know that Amazon is exp experimenting with same day delivery in certain markets, such as I believe in New York City, but overall, if people order something from Amazon, they're still gonna have to wait for it. If someone needs a product right then and there, then they're gonna go to their local store to buy that item. Now, as far as pricing, I believe that brick and mortar stores can still make money if they focus on closeout opportunities or if they buy off price merchandise, if they buy store return merchandise, any type of closeout or below wholesale deal that can give a brick and mortar a below wholesale cost basis can help them sell that merchandise at a very low retail price, which would be generally lower than what other retailers would charge and sometimes even what online retailers such as Amazon can charge. Now, here's the big secret, and you could verify this for yourself. Not all of Amazon's prices are lower than the actual retail prices that are found in brick and mortar stores. Amazon, as well as third party sellers know that people will shop on Amazon, they trust Amazon, they want the convenience that Amazon offers, they want the items delivered to their store, and then for that reason, they'll be often willing to pay the same price that a brick and mortar store will charge or even a slight premium. And outside of Amazon, that is definitely true. There are many online sellers that charge the same or higher prices that are found by brick and mortar sellers. And of course, it depends which brick and mortar seller because a full price brick and mortar seller will not have the best price, but a discounter, um, a closeout store, an off price seller and so on, or even a boutique that has opportunity to be nimble and quick and buy different products on a closeout basis and could shop around at different warehouses, that brick and mortar seller, that boutique can have a better price than an online seller can have. So the real question is, first of all, is if the customers in a specific market still shop at brick and mortar stores? And I think the answer to that generally is yes. I think most people still shop at stores, even if they do most of their shopping or a lot of their shopping online. And also the question is if the brick and mortar operator, if the owner of that brick and mortar store 
has the time to go around to shop at different wholesale warehouses, spends time online looking for some really good deals, and then is willing to sell that, that merchandise at a very low price. The reason I say that is because a lot of brick and mortar stores want to make you know a lot of money right away, which I understand everyone's in business to make money, but if someone has the patience to build up their customer base and they do that by offering very low prices, I think in the long run, they'll be much better off than charging higher prices from the get-go. So can brick and mortar retail stores still make money? I believe so, but I think it's a matter of sourcing products and of attracting customers to your store the right way. So sourcing products on a closeout basis and attracting customers through low marketing initiatives such as word of mouth advertising which is essentially encouraging your customers to share the news about your store so it is advertising you're just having other people advertise for you and how do you do that well you give your customers an incentive to bring other customers with them and to tell other people about your store and of course by providing an excellent product an excellent service level this way people want to tell other people about your store all right if you have any questions or comments please let me know my website website is closeoutexplosion.com. I'd be very happy to do business with you. Thank you so much and have an amazing day.